I've been doing a lot of thinking. I tried recording a video earlier today on my way into work and it just didn't work out. I didn't like how it was turning out. I was, I don't want to say overly negative because I'm sure this video will turn into that as well, but it was just, it wasn't genuine. And I want to make sure this channel stays as genuine as possible. And if it feels fake, I'm not gonna post it. So that's what I did. I deleted all the videos that I recorded this morning. And I'm like, we gotta do this again on the way home from work today. So let's talk about, should YouTube be a full-time job for creators? I see RGT posted yet another Switch eShop sale. I saw Beat 'em Up posted yet another, oh my God, when's the next Nintendo Direct gonna happen? I saw a whole bunch of other generic content being posted once again. And I'm like, you know, this Screenwave Mafia, they're kind of running out of ideas, but it's not just them. I'd say on the grand scale of YouTube, it is just dead. And like I said, I want to remain positive here. I am positive that these channels are completely out of ideas. <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. I'm starting to wonder if YouTube should be a career for anybody because the way it's turning into, it's just like people are making videos for just the hell of it, for the sake of just making videos, which ironically, yeah, I know once I say that, everyone immediately says that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, I get it. That's what I'm doing too. So I'm not innocent either. I'm a hypocrite. I am. I'm a hypocrite. Okay. So Calling me a hypocrite doesn't really hurt my feelings because I admit that. Um, I'm definitely not perfect. I admit a lot of faults with me. Do I ride fences? Mm, sometimes. Um, but ultimately, going back to the whole, is YouTube a career thing? I mean, I used to think it was back when I was trying to make it work for me. Back when I was doing it full time. I was really just in the trenches with the news cycle and trying to figure out what the next hot thing to talk about would be and rallying the troops and getting fake excited about stuff just because I knew it would draw people in. Like, oh God, how do you live with yourself? There's so much, there's so much. Like, I wonder, everyone can stay in their own lanes, but I often wonder about channels focused on video games and if it's something that is long term if it's something that can sustain itself for the rest of their life like will beat em ups be making nintendo switch videos or whatever the next big console is videos until he retires until he turns like 60 no he won't um, I do like how he started that second channel to actually show off more of who he is as a person, but I've watched a couple episodes and it just didn't interest me. And that's okay. No, I don't have to like everything. You don't have to like me. I don't care. But the point is, uh, you, you want YouTube to, you want people to like you in YouTube, not what you're hawking not what you're trying to promote. You want people to come to you because they find joy and entertainment with that and it's something unique and special that they don't get anywhere else. And maybe people find that with him, but that's okay. I, I, like I said, you don't have to like everybody. I try to steer towards those who are genuine. I don't feel like everyone is on the platform. I wonder about RGT, Sean Long. Is he gonna be doing this? when he's 60, 65, is he going to still be making eShop sale videos? Or is he going to evolve? I think that's what I keep getting at with all these YouTube videos. It's like a lot of these channels are just so stuck on the gear that has worked for so long that they're afraid to shift into another gear. They just keep going back to what works. I watched Sean's video today. He, thanks to D-Dub for giving me the heads up. But he mentioned me at the end of his video where he basically was saying that, yeah, he knows it's generic content, but people love it and he's going to make it because people keep watching it. 
okay, I don't blame them. I'd blame the YouTube algorithm of that. But at the same time, it's like, people are coming to your channel, Sean, because they like you. They don't like eShop sales. I mean, hell, they can load up the Nintendo Switch or load up an internet browser to see what's on sale on Nintendo.com. They go to you because you bring something unique to the table, not because you're talking about Nintendo eShop sales. And same with SpawnWave, doing it on a SpawnWave Extra. Like, all the ScreenWave Mafia, they all do the same generic stuff these days, and they keep sharing each other's work. They keep talking about each other instead of actually taking a leap of faith and doing something adventurous, doing something that makes them stand out. And it's unfortunate because these people, they are influencers. They are people that all these other small creators look up to for guidance, for what's hot, for what people want to watch, what people are talking about, what games they're playing, what is interesting in society today. They go to you for this. Review Tech USA, RGT85, Woodhawker, Beat 'em Ups, Spawnwave Media, all these big channels, everyone who's part of Screenwave is a big click that keeps talking about the same good damn stuff. That's okay. It's just not my thing. And it's just funny. Going back to, I know I'm completely going off the rails with this video, but I, whatever. I'm just talking to you guys. As far as what the content is that they should be making, I'd like it to be something that they want to be making. Not that what they think their viewers want to see. I feel like that's something that has been lost in the shuffle. And it's a natural evolution of the YouTube platform. When you make this your career, you need to dance for the people watching you. And you need to have them pay the ticket fee to get in because you're in entertainment and you need to make the money to pay rent and pay your bills and pay your car loan and pay everything off. You need to be making money from this. And because of that, you have to rely on your audience. And because of that, creativity is dead. So do I think YouTube should be a full-time job? For certain people, yeah, they can do it. But the problem is, I feel like the few select people that definitely can turn this into a long-term career successfully have just, everyone's jumped in on that and said, me too, I can do that too. YouTube is the next big boom of entertainment and I will be one of those creators to make a living off of just shooting the crap and talking about video games all day, every day. And people will just come to my channel and watch it. I'll get ad revenue and Patreon donations and people will just give me everything and I'll be able to just play games and hang out. Which by the way, I will say, and their defense, it's a lot of work. I know people will get mad at me for saying that, but when I was doing it full time, it was a lot of work. You had to eat, sleep, live, and breathe this crap to the point of almost you didn't even want to play a video game at the end of the day because you were so sick and tired of talking and regurgitating the same damn stuff every single day, which is why I finally broke. It's why I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out and get a job that actually pays way more money than anybody else doing this YouTube thing full time from Screenwave Mafia. So yeah, that's fine. You guys can get your shirts, you can get your click, you can remove my mod status from the uh, Spawn Wave, uh, what is it? The Spawn Spawncast. Okay, you're not hurting my feelings, guys. I I used to look at that as something I could cling to to help my brand and grow and get attention. And now I look at it like it's a snooze fest. It's a bunch of people that are just talking about really boring topics, and I literally fall asleep when I watch it. And everyone watches it and they grow their channels and they keep spewing out the same stuff. And I wonder to what end? When is it all gonna end? When is everyone gonna wake up from this horrible dream and say, you know what? We don't need everyone repeating the same exact news all day, every day. One source, maybe two, that's great. You wanna give your opinion on it, that's great. But holy crap, think about something original. 